Hey everyone, it's Andy with the Reverb's Home Report. Today I'm looking at a pedal from Strymon that's designed to keep guard of the front end of your signal chain, possibly the most crucial part. It's compressor and boost in one with the compadre. First of all, the audio path in the compadre is completely analog, while digital control allows the pedal to recall an astonishing 300 presets and respond to program and control changes via MIDI. Two distinct compression modes are available with a single switch. Studio for transparent optical style compression and Squeeze for all your vintage stomp box compression needs. Plus you can choose to blend back the guitar or bass's dry signal in parallel. A common way to regain the natural dynamics of your instrument while still benefiting from the compression. The independent boost circuit consists of a simple output level and three voicings to either tighten up low end and increase jangle, provide a thicker mid-focus boost, or a full frequency boost. Plus, you can select clean boost or dirty for noticeable soft clipping as heard in your favorite overdrive pedals. Other features include a MIDI input jack, which can also accept the mini switch or multi-switch plus for instant favorites, and a jack that transforms any expression pedal into a master volume, giving you complete control of your signal. This analog dual voice compressor and boost is designed and built in the USA, and you can find it right now on Reverb. Let me start by showing you the difference in the two compression modes, starting with Studio. This is definitely something you feel more than something you hear, because it's sort of a secret weapon in the background. It does limit your dynamic range, but it also kind of just balances the string volume and helps it really push through the front of the mix. Now, if you do want to hear sort of a compression effect and that extra squish, here's where the squeeze mode comes in. And here's just one of the applications of the boost in conjunction with the compressor. They are independent though, so you could just use the boost on its own to push your amp into overdrive. I'll start with a very squeezed compression sound with not a lot of dry signal in the mix, and then I'll just use a full frequency clean boost just to give it a bigger sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now let's focus more on the boost side and switch it into dirty mode. Meanwhile, the compression is sort of the finishing touch and I've taken it to the studio mode and added more of the dry blend so it's not so much a compressed sound. With the boost still in dirty mode, let's try out those three different EQ settings, starting with full range. That's the Strymon Compadre giving the front end of our signal chain the royal treatment with boost, EQ, and compression. You can find it right here on Reverb. Thanks for watching.